welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a Dollar Tree haul for you and coffee. This cup says coffee because adulting is hard and it's true. It is hard. This will be a small haul. I didn't really find a lot of stuff, but I got some fun things. I found another Dollar Tree Plus. So I've been going to different Dollar Trees looking for some that have plus sections, like the ones that I know are bigger. One I went to today um, is a bigger store, but they did not have a plus section. So I don't know. They're probably getting one. They just haven't yet. They're very new in my area. But I did find a wooden sign. Here, we'll do a thumbnail. This is a big sign, and it was $5, I think. Yeah, $5. It's, it's wood. You know what you could also do if you found one is paint it on the back side and use it like, it almost looks like shutters or something. But you could totally put something on the back. You could also distress this. With a little sandpaper, make it look a little more vintagey. But I thought for Fourth of July that would be fun. Um, so I got that at the Plus store. Oh, and I got at the Plus store as well. Hold on, I'm pulling out bags here, guys. Uh, they had this fun notebook. I love a notebook. We know that. And if I can get five dollar notebooks, why not? Um, it is fake leather and it has. This one has lined pages, but I love it too because it has the bookmark. It's the faux leather. They came in different colors. Some of them had the snap front like this, and then the pink one had like an envelope closure, but I like just this nice basic. I think it came in black. This is like a dark gray, and the pink and maybe a yellow, maybe. I don't know, but I love this. And I think it's great. And I just, even I just make lists in them, I feel fancy. So I got that, which is cool. Also, um, just a heads up, I will be heading to Canada in the near future and I will be shopping at Dollarama's to do some hauls there. Um, my store, and I don't know if this is new or old, but I found a sugar-free Russell Stover. And I have not seen these in a very long time. And it's made with stevia extract, not aspartame. So it's dark chocolate. There is malitol in it, but it has stevia extract instead of the um, aspartame and the dextrose and all that. So that is pretty cool. I don't think there's dextrose in it. Cocoa butter, milk fat, lecithin. Yeah, no. There are 23 carbs, but 18 sugar alcohols. And there's three pieces in here. Yeah, I thought that was fantastic. I like those. I'm saving it for my trip. Um, Guys, I love these face washing, uh, makeup removing, vanishing wipes wipe things. I love them. So I don't like using a lot of soap on my face. I also don't wear a lot of makeup. And so honestly, I'm trying to open it. Honestly, you know, especially when I travel, I just bring one of these and I can wash my face with just some warm water or freshen up, you know, in the morning or whatever. But they had them. Now they came out with ones with lemons. And I just think it's so fun. I will take this tag off as well. I love these. They are so soft. And when you get them wet, they do such a great job. If you have not used these for face wash washing, oh my goodness. And I can imagine using this for a baby. Like using it as a um, washcloth on a baby. Like it's just everything. And the lemons make it adorable. And I love these. I have a whole basket. I wash them in the washing machine. And then in my bathroom, I have a basket and I just throw them in there and I grab one when I need it to wash my face. So that was fun. Also, I found something new from this Be Pure product, Be Pure line. It is 
a rechargeable face mister. What the heck? So you put, I believe, let's, let's find the directions. It is an ultrasonic face mister. Like, what the heck? So you recharge it. It charges up. You open this up. You put water in here, right? And then you close the lid. And then you... Oh, there's Wellington. Hey, buddy. You say hi. Hi, honey. He's deaf. Um, and then you push this button and it lights up and it ultrasonically mists your face. What? And it comes with a charger. A dollar twenty-five, people. A dollar twenty-five. I don't even know where these were. I'm assuming they're in the beauty section. I found this on a random shelf, and when I went to look for more, this was it. So somebody had picked it up and just dropped it on a random shelf. But can you imagine being on an aeroplane where it's so dry and just misting? Or at the beach if you're hot? I'm just saying. Yeah. And you just recharge it. Yeah, that's going to come in very handy. Then I found these to try. Um, they are Splenda Coffee Creamer. And I think it's Splenda Brand is the brand. Yeah, Splenda is the brand. Um, and they came in vanilla and sweet cream and they're liquid, but I love trying different creamers for my coffee. And it does say no sugar added, no corn syrup. There is a carb in them. It says use within two weeks of opening. Do not purchase if the seal has been broken. Yeah. Oh, sorry. So it is Splenda brand little coffee creamers, which are great. Um, eight fluid ounces each. So we'll try them. I'm not sure. I mean, you know, I've not had those that brand before. I have used liquid flavored liquid creamers. I don't mind them. Um, I did post a video, and I will tell you, or may not have gone up yet, but I was out shopping and I bought some keto powdered cream. Not a fan. I will tell you though, I'm not mad at just just like powdered cream. You can get whole, you know, like whipping cream powder. Um, it's not cheap, but you can get that. I don't mind that, but this stuff I bought, I didn't like. Also, if you watch that video, the bar soap and conditioner, fantastic. I've used it already. And the conditioner gave my hair such a lovely slip to it, which I love. I know. All right, what do we got? Oh gum I also bought more drink mixes guys I have a problem I'm not even going to show them to you anymore well I do have some in here but I just keep buying them uh this is new this year in the summer section it's a little flip-flop tray what like a little fruit tray or veggie you can make it a veggie tray whatever it is adorable if you're doing any summer entertaining they had it in this hot pink and like a teal color. I'm dying. Like what? It's so cute. And you could do them like next to each other and have a pair of flip flops and put all your snacks and stuff in here. I love it. Actually, if you're serving like hot dogs and chips and stuff, it could be like a little plastic plate, but I didn't need a whole bunch of them, but I did get one for the summertime. Look. Maybe this should be my thumbnail. Or should I do it over here so we can see well in 10? No. I know. They had a, um, some, not a bunch, but they did have some new summer stuff. That was part of it. And then I just got this. My guys, I'm telling you, I'm, my stores are just so slow right now. Um, but I did get some drink mixes and then I went to Walmart tonight and got some other ones, but I got the Skittles and this is what keeps me in water all summer. I got the fruit punch, the Hawaiian punch, and then I got two of these to try. Uh, blue raspberry, they're both blue raspberry, typhoon blue and just blue raspberry. Now the Hawaiian punch, you get eight sticks. Starburst, you get six, and Skittles, you get six. So I will tell you, I love them. 
if you have a, a Walmart near you, A, it's a much better deal to get them at Walmart. They're a dollar eight instead of a dollar twenty-five, and they have a lot more variety. So just throw that out there. I bought some today. I actually got um, for those of you who do like fitness exercise, I got the Powerade Zero sticks, but I got them with protein. So I'll let you know how that is because I do purchase the Gatorade with protein when I'm out riding my bicycle. Um, they did bring out new Fourth of July stuff this year so far. I'm not a huge celebrator of the 4th of July. I mean, I do, but I don't. But I thought these were really cute. They're just, um, let me fix that. There we go. They're calling them ornaments, but obviously you can hang them anywhere. And this is metal. And then I love the, uh, the wooden beads. So the rustic kind of feel. They have them in red and blue. And honestly, you could put these anywhere, but if you had maybe a cute garland on your mantle or something, you could hang these to accent. You could hang them on a curtain. I mean, anywhere really, but two of them for $1.25. I didn't think it was bad because I feel like some of the other seasonal stuff, they were selling one for $1.25. So two is pretty cool. If you're having any kind of cookout, this would be fun. You could also use it on like silverware or let's say you are doing um, like a, a buffet section. You could tie this to a tin can, right? Or glue it around the top of a tin can and use that for your silverware and then get some cheap bandanas for your napkins and stuff. It would be super fun if you're doing like a cookout. But anyway, I thought these were fun. Hang them anywhere you like. They also came out with three of the wooden beads. I just got the one and it has the little USA map here. Um, if I find another one, I might buy it just for this wooden cutout and then make it a like stitch marker or something for cross stitch. But this one I'll put on my mantle. It's the same as all the other seasons. They had this, they had a flag and they, I can't remember what the other one was. Maybe a star. I'm not really sure. I don't remember. But I just think that's adorable. And yeah, these are great. They look nice just kind of laying, you know, on a mantle or something of that nature. So I grabbed that. And then the last thing I got for 4th of July, they have these at Easter as well. But it's a table runner. Um, I can't open it up. But it has stars. And it just goes on your table. You know, again, if you're outside, if you're doing any kind of cookout or something, it's that thick felt. They also had this in red. So you could do like a row of red, a row of blue. You could do anything you want. Make a big old flag. I don't know. But I grabbed just the one. It is three feet long. So it would look good like on a picnic table or something. Yeah, so that is kind of everything I got this time. I went to, like I said this morning, a really a large store. It, this store is so big, it has double aisles. So a whole aisle and then a cross aisle and then a whole nother aisle. It's a big store, so I'm kind of surprised that they weren't set up for the plus yet. Now, that's the end of show and tell. But I will tell you... Down here in Cincinnati, I think I did a haul from this Dollar Tree before. It's in Sharonville, Ohio. And then one of you on my Facebook group shared it with me that it's the second largest Dollar Tree in the United States. And I need to make another trip. I'm just cleaning up. Another trip down to that Dollar Tree. But I really want to call them and see if they're set up as a plus. Because that store was huge. It was the size of like a Joanne. I mean, that's how big it was. And I believe in that shopping center, it was an anchor store in a corner, but I think that was an old Joanne. So I'm not sure, but I do want to make a trip down there and do a haul um, sometime this summer. I think I will do that. Also, there's a cross stitching store there, um, keepsakes, so I can make a trip to the store. And the Dollar Tree. And this, I was there this time last year because I remember I went down for the author, um, an author I love, J.R. Ward, for the books I read. She does a, um, a speaking engagement. Um, she gets a, a big, 
meeting room at a hotel and you have to sign up for tickets. They're free and you drive down there, but you have to buy a book to get a ticket and you drive down and um, she speaks about the book, about the character. She'll answer questions and then she talks about the next book in the series and it's a lot of fun. I had a great time last year. I did not choose to go this year. Um, yeah, but it's definitely something that I enjoyed. And if you ever have an opportunity to hear your favorite author speak, I would say go for it. So I know it was this time last year because that showed up on my feed. But anyway, so I did go down there. I have been to that Dollar Tree. It was, I found it on total accident, but I'm going back. Um, it's about a, almost a two and a half hour drive for me, maybe three hour drive for me. So it's not like I can go on the regular. So I'm going to call them, see if they're a plus and see if I can video inside the store. Maybe, I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, that is everything. I hope you enjoy and I will talk with you later.